This aisle and this aisle here house what we refer to as our relic collection. Uh, those boxes are filled with things like bullets, shell fragments, uh, broken bayonets, canteens, buttons, just hundreds and hundreds and thousands of things that have been picked up off the battlefield since 1863. Uh, a lot of them were collected by local individuals. Uh, they created their own family collections and then eventually they found their way into what is referred to as the Rosensteel collection. The Rosensteels were a local family uh, that began collecting basically uh, two days after the battle was over with, July 5th, 1863. It was begun by uh, a man named John H. Rosensteel. He was 17 years old at the time of the battle, witnessed it, helped clean up the battlefield afterwards, uh, helped bury the dead. And uh, that, that experience for John uh, became a lifelong obsession for him. He never married. Uh, he spent the rest of his life devoted to collecting and exhibiting uh, objects specifically from this battlefield. Um, his nephew, George Rosensteel, uh, became a collector in his own right. And in 1922, George Rosensteel opened a museum right across the road from the uh, National Cemetery uh, on Cemetery Hill. Uh, and that building was our museum uh, up until 2008 when this facility was, was uh, built in uh, Forest by the Gettysburg Foundation. So um, the Rosensteels collected objects rela uh, related to the Civil War and the Battle of Gettysburg uh, over three generations for a total of 108 years, which makes our collection rather unique in the field of Civil War collecting. Uh, because very few other collections in the country have that long history and that many generations of one family devoted to doing nothing but just trying to save uh, this portion of American history. So today, uh, approximately 85 to 90 percent of our current collection is the Rosenstein collection. It is the nucleus of what we have and what you're seeing here. Uh, today. And without them, we would not have been able to have the interpretive exhibits that we have today because uh, they provided the American people with a tremendous resource. Uh, many of their objects uh, were actually picked up off the battlefield within days, weeks, months, and years of the battle occurring. Um, and so um, they uh, either approached their neighbors to acquire their personal collections or their neighbors came to them and either sold or donated their collections to the Rosenstein Museum. And so that basically creates our, our foundation here. What I've done this afternoon is I've kind of brought out a cross-section of our collection to try to give you an idea of the, the breadth of the collection, what we have. Um, of course, you've probably seen some, a lot of the things up on exhibit. That's only about 1% of what we currently have, uh, the remaining 99% is stored in the room that you're in right now.